Hello everyone, it is your boy Twin Plays here. Back in another row. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So I know it has been a while, and I am so sorry, you guys. I recently have been really out of town and doing a lot of school, and I've just been super busy. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, but I am here again, and I'm doing this little short video for you. And after this, I am going to be posting the Squid Game tutorial. Um, that one will also just be a little little longer, but it's going to be super simple and easy to understand. Now, I hope you guys have been alright, and it hasn't been too long. I know it's been a week, but i trying my best. And i got a lot of videos coming. I just They're all, they're all under construction because I want it to be amazing for you guys. So if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much for you guys, and we're so close to 11,000. And that is amazing so i can't wait and also while you're at it join the discord because we do do giveaways in there and i am going to do one soon actually i know i haven't done it since but i am going to do that and um yeah that's about it so for this video we're gonna be doing custom animations now i know you guys are probably like twin why are we doing custom animations well this is because for squid game i was struggling at a point where i had to decide I want to do animations because it's pretty cool and it makes it more intrigued and more fun to do like it's more entertaining to have a custom animation um and i was looking on youtube i was looking everywhere and i could not find the easiest way to do it and they were all not working actually surprisingly they were not working and most of the ways the tutorials that you have seen are all local sided so i don't think that's good um so we are doing a server script now this is going to be called custom animations and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the description and look for the toolbox um, and you're going to look for that link and grab this right here. This is custom animations and it should say server sided and then you're going to click, click this and it should say item own. So now you do own this animation. Once you have it then you're going to just get rid of that link um, and basically you're going to load it in by going to toolbox, going to your inventory and it should be the top left one right here. Just click it and you're going to drag it and turn it into server script service. Now um, it may be crazy to just like think like twin okay really why is this a server script and what what is the difference between the local scripts of way of doing this or the server script way of doing this now locally the way that people said to do it was click play grab your character and grab the animate script or do a local script that does this and this well that's the outdated version and that doesn't really work anymore and it is local sided so by that i mean it only shows for your character and it's just not as efficient what we are doing is we're making this animation go to everyone on the server so this is what we're doing for that script so this is going to be server sided doing this now getting into this script it's super simple and i'm actually just going to uh, hop to this in a second but we are first going to look on how to get animations and what animations i'm talking about so let's say we just want to click the play button and i'm actually going to explain this to you real quick because you're going to be like understanding what i mean now um this is made by roblox so i want to talk to you about in a second and why this is an uh, not a thing oh i did not update that that is my squid game thing oh don't worry about that oh, okay well as you can see i already have a custom run animation that this isn't mine and then okay got a custom jump um but as you can see this is a custom run animation so without it this is what i mean so this is like walking a certain way or jumping a certain way or swimming or flying that kind of is that's what i mean now um for this to be server sided it will show on everyone and everyone will have the same animations now the reason for this is because it's more fun and more intriguing of course for people to play and walk around of course um now you can do a lot with this i will say so i will make more videos on how to do it for certain characters like certain animations but um that's about it so this is what i meant by the animations by the way so let's say you click here server and you go to the player player go inside here and you go to their animate and as you can see they have all their animations they have their animations in here the walk these are all the animations we're touching so you can change these by um going in the script and doing anything you want so there's point sit run swim idle everything like that so that's one thing um but basically what we're amputating of course for this video is mainly run and walk i haven't done a job jumping but that's about it so what i want you guys to do is think about how do you want to do an animation now there's two ways you can make one or you can grab one for free and you can also use mix ammo so if you want to do that in another video i'll probably put that above in the screen but um that's about it so you go to character inserter uh you can insert your character and you can do like animation editor and click the humanoid create clip and you can animate animate it all you want so like go like this and do like little lines of course so go over here and then do again and let's say you hit click play it does this or whatever um and then you would basically just set animation priority to action and you would make sure it is looped 
and that's about it um, and then you export it so let's say we want to do a certain one that is actually really nice and easier to do so we're gonna go to toolbox here and we're gonna search up uh, r15 walk animation now we grab this and here we go we got a dummy right here so this is cool because these guys have made a more professional one depending on which one you get so let's say you click play now okay so this is a cool little walk animation we got here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this and you're gonna click uh, export and once you do that you can say walk and then you can say animation if you want and you're gonna hit submit and then there we go you're gonna click this link and bada boom and you're good to just get rid of that all you like uh, let me close this plugin now when you have this on your screen it is going to look like this it's gonna have a certain uh, thing that shows that you are actually walking so that's a cool part about this so this is what it looks like um, I love this animation actually it's really nice but um, you're gonna be grabbing this number right here so grab this number and that's all you're gonna need to do um, and that's about it so feel free to grab that and you're good to close this out we're gonna go into the script now and this is what we're looking at so this script's pretty simple. I did not make it. Roblox did, and I'll show you that in a second. But what we're doing is we're grabbing the players, and we're doing that by doing game get service player. So we're getting every player in the game. When a player joins a game, we're going to connect, and we're going to do the function on player added. So this is when a player joins a game. When they join the game, that means uh, the player that joins the game, then we're going to do this function right here, which is going to do player.characterappearance loaded. When that gets loaded, then we're going to connect on character added. And we're going to be sending the character local. So local humanoid equals character. We're going to wait for your child humanoid. Then we're going to be grabbing all the tracks inside the humanoid. So all the animation tracks. Then we're going to do local animate script equals character wait for child animate. So this is the animate script that I was talking about. And right here we're going to be amputating all the animations. Now for me I only want to do one of them. And it's called the walk and run. Now since this doesn't you can see in the error there was an error this is because this is kind of like an older version r15 only has this one so all you got to do is change this but i'm pretty sure for r6 you might just want to keep both but if you don't want the error i just recommend getting rid of this so we'll get rid of that um and what i just did there is what i changed my id so this is what you're going to be changing so that id that i gave you you're going to be putting it right here because that is the id that they're going to be doing so now let's say i click play here again it should do the custom walk animation and if it doesn't then i'm just screwed but either way that's what i'm talking about so okay yeah there we go so this is the custom walk animation now it could be a little faster if it was a different animation but there you go as you can see there's a different one now i know you guys are probably like okay how can i make a running version there's a few ways you can do that i did make a script about it and i will be talking about it in the squid game um but you could make a little user input service and or a contact action for service and when the person called shift or something you basically could increase their humanoid walk speed and then you could play an animation but this is basically how it looks and it's pretty cool so that's about it you guys it's just a simple script now let me actually just show you real quick the website so this is what it was talking about um I'll leave this website in the description and it shows you everything and it does a one a step by step information on how to do it. Um, it's really cool and you can also do certain things like this like the animation weight value and stuff like that and how to do it. So um, honestly it's really cool you guys. Uh, I just want to get this out there because no one's made really tutorials on this that actually work. So something simple to learn but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.